Esports, they've taken the world by storm. But with growing popularity come growing concerns. New details on that deadly shooting at a video game competition. An esporting tournament turned deadly last month in Jacksonville, Florida. The suspect specifically targeting other gamers. With games like Madden, Cover me. Call of Duty, and Fortnite grabbing the attention of gamers worldwide. Many wonder about the downsides to gaming. Take this story, for example, where a young girl became so addicted she wet herself rather than take bathroom breaks. And as we've heard this week, some parents are turning to the internet in search of support. My son plays um, probably several hours a day. But today it's our parents who are searching for support. If you witnessed a kid... Seriously, Ashton, can you please put the computer down? Oh, you just made me lose. Neglecting his parents over a game of Fortnite. I have to start over. What would you do? Hi. Hi. Oh, thank hey. you so much for coming back. Our cameras are rolling at the Royal Coach Diner in the Bronx, New York. And while Josh and Angela are ready to order... May I have a Diet Coke and no lemon? Their son, Ashton, is a bit distracted. Ashton, what do you want to drink, honey? I don't care. Ashton, put the game down and order your food. You know, can we just have one minute? Yeah, I'm no so problem. Sorry. No, no worries. Ashton. Ashton. Ashton, your mother's talking to you. Can you put the game down? What? Hey, don't talk to your dad like that. Have you ever heard of Fortnite? Yes. Oh my gosh, you That's do? Addictive. It's what? It's addicting to me. I know that. I play it on mobile. Unlike Ashton, this fellow player knows when to stop. So how come you're not playing your games? It's like you take it. You get scared at the wall. You know what, I think he's right. No, I, think, I just no, started no, no. that game. You know what, he's right, Dad. he's right. No, 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 this is ridiculous. You can't take my iPad. I just did. Yeah, ask the kids, why did you tell them to do that? Yo, listen, how would you feel if your parents took your games away? It's okay. But then you just can't play. But they want to just have a lunch with you. But it's my iPad, it's my game. <laughs> but who bought it? I don't think they're on your side, man. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> what did you think, young man? He just should have just put the game down and then right after he could have played. We're rolling again. Do you want to look at the menu so you can make a decision? And mom and dad are trying to spark up a conversation. Your dad was suggesting a movie. What do you think about that? But Ashton can't seem to peel his eyes away from that iPad. They live in those damn things. But I take it away from her. Take it away. I'm, I'm sorry, but you know what? Take it away. No, no, I'm sorry, but it's just ridiculous. I mean, we've been out, you know. I just like, started that game. Don't Without his better. game, he sees no reason to stick around. They just become like so addicted to whatever they're doing. Do you know anybody who plays the game? It's not the issue. You don't want to put it away. And it's not just children who may need to be curved. My boyfriend plays one similar. A grown man. Yes, it's a big thing. My advice would be just don't let him play it when he's going out with you because yes, once you start it, it's so hard to stop it. While customers make all sorts of suggestions... No, just let him leave it at home when you're having dinner. Ashton refuses to play by the rules. My parents are ridiculous. I want to be able to have a conversation with you. But they're taking me away from my game. This is human beings are your family. Nice, beautiful. I knew it. I said I'll think I'm honest. How are you? This is a real problem because our niece does the same thing. She sits at the table with the iPad and she's only seven. Sorry, oh, were you all ready to order? Um, um, Ashton? I don't care what you get me, just like a burger or something. Oh, just lost. And when Ashton storms away with his iPad, this man has some wisdom to share with mom and dad. That's all he needs is a moment for himself. And y'all just have your conversation. And later, <laughs> with Ashton. No I know you don't know me. I, you know, my name is Roosevelt. How are you, sir? I'm good. I was telling that you're in your moment and you're in your time, so give me this little space. And you're always going to have a chance to play that game. 
they're not gonna be there all the time. But I guess just just a moment, we are all together, just enjoy each other. Hey, I'm sitting here. He pulls up a seat to continue his sermon. The thing is that we all special. While we join the party. What's going on here, sir? How you doing? I'm John Quinones. Oh, I get myself in the best. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Those are stars, right? <laughs> yeah, those are actors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you had a lot to say. You can't just take them off it because they're already addicted to it. And you can break that pattern quick. So start moderating, yeah, less and less. Less and less. He's human. He has feelings. He has things that he's going through. Don't right. push him away, because you're only going to draw him away, and he might go out and do the wrong thing. And that seems to be the key. Moderation, compromise, and a little patience.